It's just about time for dinner, and we have Simba and Boo, and Simba and Boo are kissing each other right now. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. 9.30 a.m. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Stella. I was really happy that I had the automatic feeder set up for the cats. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? Boo slept on the bed all night until probably around 6 o'clock a.m. And the door to the bedroom was shut, so he had the bed all to himself. And around 6 a.m., I remembered that the automatic feeders were going to give them breakfast, so then I opened the door to the bedroom, and there was all kinds of cat activity in the house. Here's Splash. He was in a shark. He was in the shark bed. He just jumped out. And there's Simba. He's just laying on the rug. And it looks like they all ate their breakfast, but let's just check. Yep, they're empty. Okay, so when I was coming back up, Stella decided she wanted to run downstairs. So I guess she's not going to stay upstairs with Boo, right? Stella, you staying up with Boo or no? It's 3.10 p.m. And I want to brush Boo. Because I was petting him and a lot of fur is coming off. I was just outside in the garden for like 10 minutes planting some um, transplants. And I am all bit up. I must have gotten like six mosquito bites in those 10 minutes. He goes to his arch. Come on, boo. Oops. Oops. Oh. It's been very hard to brush Boo and film it at the same time, but look at all the hair that I got off of him. Because he keeps walking around. Come here, Boo. just about time for dinner and we have Simba and Boo and Simba and Boo are kissing each other right now and Splash and Stella and there's so many cats oh my gosh there's four cats you guys ready for dinner want some dinner okay so this is what's going on right now I have Boo Simba and Stella all eating off of the same platter and Splash has been hanging out. And I know the platter is in a weird corner right now, but that's just how it ended up. It just ended up there because Boo went to eat on it. So I said, okay, Boo, you want to eat on it? Just eat on it. And uh, maybe Simba will join in. I mean, I'm sorry, maybe Splash will join in. I don't want to move it and freak anyone out because they are getting along really well right now. And I don't know if it was because I was away all day yesterday or what but today when we came downstairs to eat boo came all the way downstairs with the other cats and everyone was getting along no one was swatting at each other and everything was good and even now look at this look at this everything is good splash is kind of walking around let me see if i can move this out i put more crunchies on the platter and i moved it over and see now boo's not eating from it and splash is watching from a distance okay boo you're not eating from it you don't want to eat from the platter? Good, Boo, you could eat from it. Go eat there. Come on, Splashy. Boo, you don't want to eat from the platter now? You were doing such a good job, Boo. Come on, Boo, you were doing such a good job. Okay, so we just went to put this plate together for Boo, and as I was doing that, 
he rubbed up against this self-groomer for the first time ever. It wasn't a big rub up against it. It was kind of just a small rub up against it. But still, he rubbed up against it. That's good. Go. Come on, Boo. Eat your food. You can eat it. Okay, so I just gave Boo food on his plate. And I put it down here with the platter. And so far, he's eating on it. He has his one... He has one hind leg on the bottom step. Is he going to put the all four of his legs on the floor? Or is he going to keep one leg on the bottom step? He's so silly. Boo's a silly boy. Splash is watching. Splash will come back and eat. Come on, Splash. Let's eat. I just gave Splash a bunch of crunchies. Okay, so while everyone's eating, I want to go outside and feed Hydrox. This is the rug that Splash vomited on the other day. Um, what I did was I, I picked it up and I put it in the washing machine. And uh, the instructions were to wash it on cold and then to hang it up. And I washed it on cold. But um, when I did, I don't know if you could see this, but a lot of the backing came off. Like a lot of... The backing on this rug came off and I don't know why I did that. It's not that old. So um, then I laid it flat to dry in the laundry room and uh, it got all kind of wavy and lumpy. So I just put it here a few hours ago and hopefully it'll flatten itself back out a little bit. I just came outside and put some wet food under the feeding table for Hydrox because it is starting to rain. The forecast was for rain today, but we haven't gotten any, but right now it's starting to rain and it's already like after 8 p.m. There's no dry food in the feeder, so it looks like uh, someone was about to eat it. I just came inside and Splash was eating food on the platter. Boo was eating on his plate. So, um, so that's good. Splash came around to eat. There's Hydrox. I don't know where he came from, but he's eating. Now that table is definitely plenty big enough so he could sit under the whole table and eat his food so he doesn't have to keep his back end out in the rain. Well, right now it's just really drizzling, but if it was raining really, really hard, he could easily fit his entire body under the table. He just needs to turn around and face the other direction. So Boo has abandoned his plate to eat off of the platter. But now I have to watch and I have to see because if he goes back to eating the rest of the food on his plate after eating like all this food on the platter that's that's too much for him like the food on boo's plate i'm gonna give to splash because boo's eating splash's food on the platter right now i gave splash boo's plate and i put some crunchies on it so he should eat those he should eat the food i don't know where simba went he might have went upstairs There's Stella and there's Boo. Stella and Boo are kind of like an old married couple sometimes. Do you remember that old TV show called Eight is Enough? Boo's version of it is called Boo Eight Enough. Instead of Eight is Enough, it's okay, Boo Eight Enough. Last week when I was at Harbor Pet in Greenport, I bought the cat some of the uh, catnip cubes to try. They're actually uh, fish cubes with catnip. And uh, I bought five of them. I bought one for each cat. They were 69 cents each. The cats have never had these before, uh, so I don't even know if they're going to like them. But they're all natural, and we'll see how the cats like them. This is what it looks like. It looks like a cube of dried fish. And there's catnip in it. So, yeah. Let's give that one to Simba. Will Simba eat it? Does he like it? Symbol like it? 
You want to eat it, Simba? Okay, we'll give one to Boo. Come on, Boo. Here. I just gave one to Boo. That's for you, Stella. You could have it. Boo is playing with his. And I just gave one to Splash. Splash has been smelling it. Is he going to eat it? Simba just wants to sit next to his. Stella's sitting next to hers. And Boo, you gotta put it back on your plate. They don't know what to do with it. Okay, I'm gonna put some crunchies on it. They're all looking at it like, what is it? What do you want me to do with it? Simba's just sitting next to his. Stella's sitting near hers. And Boo has his back to his. Boo pushed that fish square off of his plate. He's like, I don't want this getting in the way of my crunchies. Simba's eating around his too. Simba pushed his off of his plate. So Boo pushed his off of his plate. Simba pushed his off of his plate. Is Stella gonna push hers off? No, Stella ate around it. Maybe I'm supposed to like crush up that cube. Maybe the cats don't crunch it. Maybe it needs to be crushed. Oh no, wait. Simba had it in his mouth. He had the whole thing in his mouth. He like picked it up. I just crushed a piece off of Boo's. You gonna eat it? You gonna eat it, Boo? You don't want it? Splash moved over and then Simba started eating off of Splash's little crunchy plate. So I just gave Splash Simba's crunchy plate. Boo does not like this fish cube and Stella doesn't like it either. All the cats are eating around those pieces of the fish cube. That was definitely not a hit with them. So Splash and Simba are eating right here. Stella's right here. And Boo's right here. Okay, so Simba just vomited. That was disgusting. Now I have to clean it up. Right now. Okay, so right now it's 11.45 p.m. And Boo is in his room. He was hanging out by the windows. And Splash has been hanging out in Boo's room also. And I just wanted to make the observation that since all of the cats are on free roam together, pretty much almost every night now. The other cats are also using Boo's room more often. So I guess they feel like, well, at night, they're all on free roam together. Like Boo's usually in the cat tower in the living room. So the other cats are spending a lot more time in this room again, um, which was their room before Boo came inside. So I think that is interesting. So the dynamic has definitely shifted since um, they're not separated at night anymore. And we'll see how that continues to play out. Look what's going on here. So Stella is in her blue basket and Simba is sitting next to her. And there's Boo by his arch. They're all just like hanging out here. Now, normally I would play with them for a little while before I go to bed, but the thing is, Simba just threw up. So like, I don't want him running around and jiggling his stomach in case he has an upset stomach. I'd rather them just kind of like relax and chill out. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.